as Thailand waits with bated breath for today's announcement by the government of stricter and more serious controls on businesses and public gatherings, so numerous public and national parks have already closed due to the COVID virus, and private schools in many cases in both the capital and our own province have notified parents of closures. Bangkok Airways plans to close its ticketing offices in Bangkok, Chiang Mai and Phuket from today through to the end of the month and others are expected to follow, keeping only ground staff and essential workers at airports. Office workers will be allowed to work from home. The Thai Bankers Association has recommended that bank branches in high-risk areas close while banks work to keep ATMs topped up to keep the banking for the public afloat. Combined with online banking, the effect will be minimal for most. But branches in department stores that do stay open will be required to close by 5 and other branches by 3.30. This as COVID has become a crisis for Thailand after a year of minimal cases. 1,543 new cases yesterday reported, with most new cases related or living in the same homes as those previously reported in the past few days. The count actually spread across 62 provinces, with Bangkok reporting 409 cases, Chiang Mai 278, and Chonburi at the same rate of Prachup Kiri Khan. That's 98 in each of those. So what's on the table for review? Well, as the government meets, they'll be looking at hotspot regions, which include, but are not limited to, the capital, surrounding provinces and our own province. Proposals include complete regional close-downs. Limits on travel, closure of educational centres, public areas, gyms and even malls, restricting shopping to essentially goods only and a ban on alcohol sales in eateries. Other proposed closures are for entertainment venues, amusement parks, playgrounds and the encouragement to work from home wherever possible. None of this has been approved as of yet, but it's all to be tabled at discussions today and we can expect announcements from the government by late afternoon. Social media sharing tales that the AstraZeneca vaccine can cause a risk of blood clotting have been pretty much nixed this week as a European study revealed that the chances of getting blood clots are higher for those who contract COVID than those taking the vaccine. The chances, according to them, are in fact eight times higher. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, our mayor's office released a statement yesterday advising that after a long meeting had been held from two o'clock in the afternoon onwards, End result was that they'll wait for today's government edicts regarding COVID clampdowns before announcing any additional ones for our area. City halls and provincial governors have autonomy on COVID decisions in that they must adhere to national regulations but can add their own in addition without needing approval. Patty is preparing for its third bout of COVID controls and plans are afoot to second hotel accommodation, otherwise unoccupied, as extensions to hospital care, if and when needed. The vehicle licensing offices are suspending training and testing from today, but, we're told, will still be available for extending licences that don't require any tests. And drivers will be permitted to continue driving on expired licences until the end of June. Events over the weekend are pretty much restricted to restaurant offers and all within a very controlled environment. Restaurants in the region are mostly revamping social distancing setups and all check temperatures with customers required to wear masks when not eating and drinking. In the event that the food business is affected, many already have home delivery programs in place that actually have become more and more a way of life for many over the past year. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of 33 with lows of 26, A cloudy day with showers possible at any time. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.